Hi everyone. In this session, we are going to look at limit cycle oscillations. It is basically classified into two different types. One is zero input limit cycles, and the other one is overflow limit cycle. Now we are going to focus on zero input limit cycles. Now, before getting into limit cycles and recursive systems, we should know the definition of why uh, and how it is happening right so in recursive systems when the input is zero or some non zero constant value the non linearities due to the finite precision arithmetic operations may cause periodic oscillations in the output okay so during those periodic oscillations the output y of n of a system will oscillate between a finite positive and a finite negative value for increasing n or the output will become constant for increasing n so such type of oscillations are called as limit cycles these oscillations are due to round off errors in multiplication and overflow in addition so first one is we are going to focus on uh, round of errors in multiplication right so in recursive systems if the system output enters a limit cycle it will continue to remain in the limit cycle even when the input is made zero so the limit cycles are called as zero input limit cycles why is it called as zero input limit cycles i repeat in recursive systems if the system output enters a limit cycle it will continue to remain in the limit cycle even when the input is made zero okay the system output remains in limit cycle until another input of sufficient magnitude is applied to a drive to drive the system out of limit cycle okay so now let us consider a difference equation of first order system with only one pole as shown in this equation that is y of n is equal to a into y of n minus 1 plus x of n now the system has only one product a into y of n minus 1 if the product is quantized to a finite word length if finite word length then the response y of n as uh, uh, written here will deviate from the actual value so that deviated value is considered as y dash of n so let y dash of n be the response of the system when the product is quantized in each recursive realization okay so then now the equation now becomes y dash of n is equal to q of a into y dash of n minus 1 as told uh, it will not be the same it's okay so we will not get the actual response so plus x of n where q of stands for quantization operation okay so here uh, the block diagram uh, representation for the first order recursive system is drawn okay so this is actually the diagram for ideal system here we are giving input as x of n and the output is y of n and it is delayed for this uh, equation the the so structure is drawn actually so z in was uh, it goes to a and a is actually the uh po only pole of this system okay so now here is the non linear system due to product quantization the same system here what is introduced the quantization error is uh, i mean the quantization product quantization is introduced here in this diagram right so now let us consider an example uh, by choosing a sign magnitude uh, representation for binary product and a response let the product be quantized to 4 bit binary X excluding the sign bit by upward rounding so let us consider that example so in that case y dash of n is equal to 0 uh, for n less lesser than 0 and a is equal to 1 by 2 provided x of n is given as x of n is equal to 15 by 16 for n is equal to 0 and it is to be considered as 0 for n not equal to 0 So now substituting when n is equal to zero in the equation, that is y of n is equal to a into y of y dash of n minus one, right? Quantization of. So in that equation, y dash of n is equal to y dash of zero is equal to q of in this equation you substitute. So after substituting, you will get y dash of minus one. 
whether do we have any values for y dash of n given minus 1 given no so for n is lesser than 0 it becomes zero right so it has to be considered as zero so this entire product becomes zero whereas we know what is x of n x of uh, zero is to be considered as 15 by 16 and others are zero right so plus 15 by 16 and this is actually the decimal equivalent and here coming to the procedure we know the, what is the procedure to convert um, A decimal number to binary number, and the process given to us is four bit binary excluding sign bit by upward rounding. Okay, so now plus point nine three seven five to the base ten is converted to binary. Add now we are supposed to add the sign bit here. It is a positive value, so we are adding zero. Round off to four bits because that is what is given as uh, um, the question, right? So round off to four bits, we get zero point one 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 to the base two. Now what do we do? We are supposed to extract the sign bit, extracting the sign bit and convert it back to decimal. We get 0.9375 to the base 10, which is once again plus 15 divided by 16. Now it is now a repetitive process or iterative process, right? So when so n is equal to one, do the same procedure, substitute it, uh, uh, substitute it by. Uh, So q into a into y dash of zero. Now y dash of zero, we have got the output as 15 by 16. So substitute that, and then x one of uh, x of one is supposed to be zero because we are uh, we have been given with the example or value for x of n equal to zero only, right? So substitute that. Do repeat the same procedure for n equal to two. The same procedure for uh, similarly for n equal to three, four, five. Huh? Um, so you substitute it like this and find out all those values, right? Where n is greater than or equal to four, uh, the system output becomes constant for n greater than or equal to four. See, n greater than or equal to four is the same value. N is equal to five is the same value. So when it goes greater than or equal to four, the input x of n is zero and the output uh, uh, of the system becomes constant, right? So uh, now this tabular column represents what we did in this problem. So n takes taking the value zero to eight, and x of n uh, is fifteen by sixteen only for n equal to zero, and rest of the values are zero. Now we have uh, a handful of examples, so we can consider any value for a if at all if it is not specified in the question, right? So a equal to one by two. These are the values when we substitute the value n equal to uh, these. these things available in this column and a equal to minus 1 by 2 we have calculated 3 by 4 and a equal to minus 3 by 4 right so now the limit cycles of the first order system is actually represented by using this tabular column right now we are in a position to obtain the dead band all right so this for this first order system uh, what is dead band uh, in a limit cycle the amplitudes of the output are confined to a range of values which is called the dead band of a filter which are confined to a range of values so that range finding is actually called as the dead band of the filter for this first order system dead band formula is equal to plus r minus 2 to the power of minus b divided by 1 minus modulus of a Which means plus or minus is minus to plus, right? So that is what is written here, where b is the number of binary bits, including the sign bits, used to represent the product, right? And a is the input value. In this problem, we are assuming. Let us assume four bit sign magnitude representation, including sign bit. Let the input be x of n is equal to 0.875 for n is equal to 0 and 0 for otherwise, right? So because of the finite length register, uh, the product 0.95 y into n minus 1 in the difference equation must be rounded off to four bits before adding to x of n, right? So in that case, the output y of n with the rounding is given by y of n is equal to x of n plus q of 9 0.95 y of n minus 1 q of stands for quantization now substitute n equal to 0 y of minus 1 is 0 right so uh, substitute it for n is equal to 1 find out for n is equal to 2 find out the value then after rounding uh, we get uh, right n 3 n equal to 4 uh, n equal to 5 we are going 
calculating after rounding uh, up to n equal to 6. See, see y of 5 and y of 6 are the same so the iteration has to be stopped. From the above calculations it can be observed that for n is greater than or equal to 5 the output remains constant at 0.62 pi causing the limit cycle behavior. The dead band of the first order system is given by the formula 2 power minus uh, b divided by 1 minus uh, a is it then right so uh, we are uh, we are calculating for b equal to 4 the dead band is obtained by using this formula so the dead band is obtained at this value 0 0.625 right so this is actually the way to find out the dead band of the filter this is uh, uh, th that is all about zero input limit cycles due to product quantization okay right thank you so much